It's just after 7 on a cold and wet evening at the Bidair Cargo Warehouse on the northwestern side of Cape Town International Airport. As couriers start arriving to drop off the day's collections, the warehouse transforms into an organised dance of logistics. According to data released by Worldwide Works and Mastercard, online retail shopping in South Africa reached 55 billion rand in 2022, a year-on-year -year increase of 35%. And with an increase in e-commerce comes an increase in a demand for freighters. With customers expecting speedy deliveries, it's hard to ignore the role these cargo operations play in the South African economy. Out on the apron, I join Humphrey, a flight engineer with Star Air Cargo on his pre-flight inspection ZS TGX, a 34-year-old Boeing 737-300 freighter, and our ride for the night. Whilst most South Africans are getting ready for bed, unaware that their online purchases from earlier in the day are about to board a flight on an airline they might never have heard of, the ground staff are carefully loading pallet after pallet based on the pre-prepared load sheet. And clearly, today has been a busy day. Tonight, the team will be operating three freighters, with routes touching Johannesburg, Port Elizabeth, and back to Cape Town. With final preparations completed and the last pallet loaded and secured, it's time to close the cargo door and head off into the night. Good evening, I'm Tian Slaman, I'm the captain of tonight's flight on uh, Bright Star 721 from uh, Cape Town to Johannesburg. I love flying cargo at the moment, it fits into my sleeping pattern. It's not the same constraints as what you have during the day flying passengers. We, even though we still got schedules to keep our times on the ground, we've got a lot more time to prepare than the half an hour, 45 minutes on a passenger schedule. Good evening, my name is Strauss, I'm the first officer on today's flight. Flying cargo, we do fly dangerous goods as well. Um, so before every flight, if we have dangerous goods on board, we get a note, a note doc, notice to captain, which basically states what we have on board the aeroplane. We do a course every two years, and uh, we also get on the line training on the aeroplane itself, just going through what we need to do. Some precautions like radiation, uh, Material would usually go in the back of the aeroplane. That load sheet is usually sent to us before the flight, um, but it is determined on the ground where the pallet would be. And as I said, usually it's in the back of the aeroplane. After briefing the arrival procedures into Johannesburg's OR Tambo International Airport, the crew start their final preparations for landing. Tonight, we'll be landing on runway 03 left with a short taxi to the Delta Airport. For me, what started as a fascination with watching these lonely freighters crossing South African airspace late at night on Flight Red R24 has turned into a new appreciation and understanding for the airlines you won't get to fly, but whose impact soars beyond measure. From bringing essential medical supplies to remote communities to delivering the latest gadgets to tech enthusiasts, these cargo operations bridge the gap between what's desired and what's delivered. So the next time you receive a package at your doorstep, remember the unseen ground staff and aviators who work through the night, silently traversing the skies, 
making the world a little smaller and a little bit more connected. And with the next load of pallets loaded, I say goodbye to the crew as they push back and depart on their next leg to Port Elizabeth.